Hi everybody, I'm Austin. And I'm Dan. And we're here to play games. Witchily! Yes, and cute little frog backpacks. And kitty Look ears. at the frog! And kitty, yes. Yes, yep. Last time we were running around aimlessly for a little bit, but also picking up various deliveries. Which the last thing we got was this, um... I don't remember what he called it. It's, um... Some kind of a navigational tool. Yeah, is it is it? definitely yeah. that. Um, Does it say it in the astrolabe? There we go. Ah, uh, yes. So we're gonna get this astrolabe over to Opic. Figure out where, what this is, and what's going on with that, and hopefully it's an Opic quest. <laughs> yep, and hopefully find out what to do with this egg, along with the ostrich that we're still missing one of, and whatever else are in these different spots. Hmm. Yes. So, oh look, there's our frog chair. Hey, yeah, frog buddy. backpack, a frog chair, just so many, so much good frog content. Yeah. In this oh. game. Oh, that's right. We got like a. Um... Hold on a second. Lost I give this game a frog out of ten so far. Oh man, that's high praise. Yeah. Last time we gave the mint gem to Brom, and he made it as part of his like witchy oh. ice cream. Yeah, yeah, brum. Brum. All right, it's like a cat activation sound, you know? Yes, that's, that's what I think of every time yeah. I see it, actually. <laughs> Cats sleeping and you mess with them. Yeah. Or they jump on a counter. Not that yeah. my cat ever does that. <laughs> no, of course not. Oh. Oh, no. You hit the wall. I did. Oh yeah, we still gotta get coal for our our uh, engineer here. That's probably what that last thing is, actually. While we're setting this up, um, do you want to apologize for any noticeable audio uh, issues in the last episode? There was shenanigans <laughs> with my vocal track, so uh, yeah, that should be corrected. In fact, I'm looking at it now; it's fine. Uh, so that shouldn't happen again, but. <laughs> Uh, just a little bit of a downgrade in quality for part of the episode for really weird reasons I won't get into. Just technological weird error. Things but. things did stuff and it was confusing and we we moved on with our life. Yeah. yeah. We, we did the best we could with it. So um, should still be audible and probably possibly not even noticeable. But if you noticed it, we are aware and yeah. it has been fixed. Right. Wow, you can go really far with this broom. Good grief. What you drinking, Austin? Water today, man. Mm. I've, we've been busy doing some stuff around the house. Getting mm. those land cables uh, outlets set up. Excuse me. I'm drinking the most brutal tea ever. Nothing. <laughs> Pure water. Hello, <laughs> 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 uh, Pick. Oi, huh. Mika. I'm glad to hear you speak sailor, matey. <laughs> Just a bit. Oh, look, I love that the costumes um, match whatever the conversation is happening to. Ah, yes, yeah. Her, like, picture gets updated. I yeah. like that, too. <laughs> Just a bit. Uh, I'm here because your old man wanted you to have this. Oh, my mom's astrolabe. Is everything okay, Opic? Oi, it's just my old man. He sent him to me that my time has come to set my own course. It's a strange because I came to the same conclusion some time ago. I even bought my old man a radio so that we could stay in touch when we were apart. Mm. But it looks like the radio package got lost or something and never arrived, so maybe fate is speaking. And I shouldn't set my own course after all. <laughs> or maybe, matey, you're trying to wriggle out of it and make up an excuse. <laughs> Ugh, not cool, Mika. Sorry to say it like that, but you know I'm right. Hey. Listen, it's just, I think, oh, it gave me much wider berth than I needed. Now it's too late. Well, um, I think he is telling you that actually it's not too late, but just the right time. Aye, <clears throat> whatever. Maybe. I should talk to him. Once and for all. <laughs> ah? This time you mean for real? Nice. Most excellent. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. What if, I, what if I can get that, uh... The tarot card in that jar. Do it. 
Yes, gotta be on the lookout for a uh, little woo. Good. <laughs> you can if you believe in yourself. Wow, wowzers! And don't get rocketed across the eye, man. That was really far. It really was. That was pretty cool. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Though. Plenty of height. Something I could make yeah, the about hit right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. Oh, that was good. That's always funny because most of the time I find that hilarious because I'm aware of how hard you're laughing. Because <laughs> of the thud. <laughs> what can I say? Some, sometimes specific types of slapstick are really funny to me. It is really funny, honestly, but... <sighs> You cracking up just makes it funnier. Hey, the chariot. Cool. Oh, that's mom. Hello. All right, cool. We got the chariot. Man, I think it's really funny that unintentionally we keep having these elements overlap, right? So, like, yeah, we have the tarot cards and Mika, which mm -hmm. are also visible in um, Persona. Yeah. Sorry, my brain shut down like mid sentence. Um, That's okay. I'm picking up what you're putting out. Yeah, but in Persona, we also had like the Monad door and also mm -hmm. like just Personas and stuff in general, which overlaps a little bit from Xenogears playthrough. So like we keep getting these continuous, yeah, motions. Well, Persona and Megaton in general are just this gigantic, crazy soup of occult slash religious slash mystical stuff mm. um, you know you got tarot you got magic you got all sorts of things um, not so much the Jewish mysticism Kabbalah uh, aspect that Xenogears had but there's some Gnosticism and things right. like that but Xenogears is more thematic whereas Megaton's just like hey we have all of the gods from everything right. also weird things like from folklore like Mothman <laughs> Mothman oh hey New Witch Trail. Oh, we gotta see that one. Sure that do. Cool. Alright. What is this one? Just purple? You gotta try it out, I guess. Oh, it's oh. bubbles! I like the bubbles. Yeah, it matches the, uh, matches the Black Witch set really well, too. Yeah, it's pretty cool. With our little froggy charm. Purple. Purple. Got purple and green going on. She goes pretty well together. Yep. Mm -hmm. So close to the... <laughs> eh. Mean. It's okay, I think we've been what? up there already. Where is the egg going? I don't know, but it's coming with me, wherever it's going. Alright then. Here we go. I gotta get up here. Yeah. Let's see, the chariot... In our current Persona playthrough. Yeah, that's uh, Miyamoto. Miyamoto. Of course, Persona 5, if you're familiar, it's Sakamoto, Ryuji. This is the airflow you're looking for. Oh, yep. Okay, that's Sut's place there. I don't want that. That's Mr. Capitalism down there. <laughs> yeah, Mr. got me fired from my own job. Right. Um, so I am currently drinking Russian Caravan uh, tea, which I think I've mentioned before some of the tea times. Uh, it's kind of a blended uh, black and oolong tea. Some, um, uh, I can never remember the word. Uh, Sushong. Mm. Um, which is, I'm not as familiar with that type, but this tea is really good. Um, I love a good black tea, and uh, this one has a very smoky flavor to it, which I uh, greatly enjoy. Uh, Moki flavor is pretty good. It's it's not my number one favorite flavor in a drink, but it is one of my favorites. It is very cool. Ooh. Wow. It's spinny. Yeah. So hopefully you viewers are relaxing and having a hot beverage, maybe. Maybe. You can always pause the video and grab a coffee or tea if you want to, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Eh. Oh. And regardless, hope it's a cozy time for you as we figure out where to put this egg. Yeah. <laughs> egg along with, you know, just about anything else I'm trying to do because, you know, I'm it's not so smacking good into at this game. Every wall. <laughs> Listen, you know why you're here. 
You can make it up. Ah, there we go. All right. Told you. What is this? Is this another trail? Oh, this looks like a rainbow. Rainbow trail? Hold on. Give me that. <laughs> rainbow trail. Oh, we gotta check that out, too. Yep. Yeah. Got four out of five. That's cool. Oh, this is where I need to be. All right, cool. We. Oh, I am Neon Cat. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The cat with the rainbow. There we go. Neon Cat time. Man, I, I want to know what to do with these. I bet yeah. I, I really do think I need to get a fish and, like, plant one in there sometime. I am curious about that, too. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on on this island. Yeah. Just kind of perusing right now, making sure I'm not missing anything shiny and collectible. Could the egg go in the... No. I don't know where this egg goes. Oh, me either. Your guess is as good as mine. I guess we could always look it up or something. What's the name of the egg? Uh, Giant egg with a scarf around it. Who gets the giant egg? Oh, I don't have a way to get up there, but that looks like something interesting up there. All right, well. Hmm. Oh, hey, look what we found. Oh boy. Ostrich number three. Hey, doggy. You need to go to the farmlands. And talk to Cecile and Jean-Paul. Really? For both? Well, that's for the ostriches. I didn't know that Egg would do both. That as well. Egg also goes to them, I believe. Oh. Huh. Well. Very interesting. Should be something in here for us to yeah. snag. Hey, buddy. You look fun. Huh? Oh, uh, hello? Is someone there? <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Didn't want to scare you. Hey, don't worry, Nipper. I'm just Mr. Canary here. Oh, it's just Mr. Canary here. Gets a little nervous. Oh, <laughs> poor thing. Hmm. See, we're used to it being just the two of us, fully immersed in our work. So seeing a different face around here, it's very odd. No one ever, ever comes over here, except for Mr. W. Soot. Um. He likes to carry out productivity inspections, and uh, I think he'll be coming to do one soon. <laughs> Eek, I'll be quick then and leave you alone. I do not want to get you into any trouble. Can I, um, get a sack of coal? Alex <laughs> needs it to get the train moving again. Um, coal? Oh, there's plenty of it. Be my guest, Nipper. Uh, oh, what? um, this strangely glowing coal looks sort of magical. Um, are you sure you want to get in trouble for this, miss? That's radioactive. You should get away from it. Uh, right. <laughs> you, Lou. <laughs> nah, don't worry. There's plenty more where that came from, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. I'm Mika, by the way. Now, if you don't mind, I have to get back to work. Or Mr. W. Suit will never grant me my own digging pick. He won't anyway. Right. He's a meanie head. He is. We have so much stuff. We do. To get through that door, you have to use the Triforce of Power. You do. Oh. What hmm. the... That yellow orb looks important. Yeah, it does. Ooh. Wonder how you crash down on that thing in there. Very carefully. Looks like it could use a Yoshi ground pound or something. Whoa. Bring ha. This area looks cool. Yeah, what is this? Whoa, what is this? Who? Hey, Hello? bud. Hi. <laughs> oh, hey. Whoa, the heart of the mountain. Ah. Simienti. It's been an eternity since the last witch came here. Will you pay homage to an arcane source of wisdom or use me as a catalyst for your pride? <laughs> Why? Go away, you <laughs> insolent witch pup. Hey. hey, first of all, hello, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. And secondly, <laughs> why are you so rude? You are a witch, and your lineage says it all. I have no words for your kind. Ah. It's not fair to judge me like that. So was it fair to take advantage of my wind spirit? You witches just came to my sanctuary so you could put up a show doing tricks with your wobbly sticks. 
<laughs> this is what is not fair. I gave you my magic in exchange for being forgotten. Aww. Oh no, don't tell me you are a vast source of natural knowledge left alone to rot and decay. Yes, I am. Yeah. Ooh, you're the heart of the mountain. I thought you were an old fairy tale. <laughs> well, this can sometimes be true, witch pup. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. This is amazing. Well, I mean, you're amazing. Huh? Do you really mean it? Yeah, and um, I'm sorry to hear about your loneliness. It sounds very hard. Though, uh... I have a feeling that no other witches knew you were here. If they had known, mm -hmm. they would have come to pay your visit and learn from you. Mm, you might be right. The tone of your voice speaks of the naive truth. <laughs> You're not alone anymore. I'm here for you. And, oh, I know a scientist who would flip if... a uh, company, attention! I don't deserve any of that. Aww. I've been so isolated, so lost in the depths of my resentment against your kind, which pup. But my own bitterness has withered my spirit. I am of no value anymore. Oh, oh don't say that. On the contrary, you leave now, please. Aww. But I need to be alone, which pup. I haven't spoken for so long, my lips are glued together. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, okay. But I'll be back. Probably. Cool. Indeed. That was Seems a kind of... Yeah. It's a nice little discovery. Yeah. All right, can I... Yeah. Oh, there's a... You would just... Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, this is probably... Yep, this is how you would do it. Okay. But I got too really much shouldn't. fragile stuff in my hands right now. Do it right now, exactly. There go. we go. All right. I have to keep gotta that. Go around gotta that. keep that orb in mind too. Don't worry about smacking your head in the ceiling. It's fine. That's why I wear my hard hat, witch hat. Exactly. All right. So what is the best way where we're going? A straight shot. Yeah, you gotta go to this farm. Yeah. Yep. Go left, I think. Ooh. Yeah, this is looking good. Alright, cool. Oh. Huh. Alright. Did I go too far? I think I did. Uh, nope, we're good. All right. I can read a map. Wee. All right. Here you go. Oh, the last baby ostrich. Oh, they'll be so happy to be together again. Hey! Oh, they! Chocobo. Mm. I guess that must be the name of the different ostrich ostriches. You know, they're from the same nest, and they are almost identical, so... When they were born, we couldn't tell them apart. <gasps> and which one of them was the little rascal who was eating all the food? <laughs> oh, really? Uh-huh, sweetie. So why Jean-Paul thought, thought of giving him a straw hat to distinguish him from the others? <laughs> But they're all wearing the same hat. Because the hat looks so cute on the greedy one that we had to give everyone a straw hat. Yay! They're so cute! It's true. <laughs> okay, I'm suing the train company. Alright, well... <laughs> Can we give the egg to her, too? It won't let... It doesn't act like she has anything, but maybe... So I would talk to the... the... Uh, right here. Hey, I got your egg right here. Hey, cool. Aw. Okay, I guess. Wait a minute. Where is... Is there somebody with a purple bandana on their head? What's is that, that the, so, so her she's, son? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's probably Jean-Paul. Yeah, talk to Jean-Paul. All right. Let's go talk to Alex over here first. All right. Give her the magic coal. Uh, um. <laughs> oh, 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 Skipper. So you got your cure, your boots back on. Hmm. Not really, I'm just lending a hand. Simple as that. Um, 
They can look like simple packages, but in the end, they turn out to be very meaningful. Hmm, yeah, what about when you bring bad news? <laughs> oh, um, it's not nice, but it's all part of the job. And being there in such cases also helps them to cope better. Hey. Ah, see your point. We workers are the sh sh sure are the unsung heroes. Our work is hard and dirty. Sometimes not even remotely pleasant, but we bring people together through their everyday needs. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, uh, when Miss Cecile is waiting for her little man and we arrive at the farm station, the look on their faces and the joy when they finally meet again will spread to everyone there. <laughs> oh, uh, that reminds me why I'm here. Hmm, you, s you said you needed a cold, didn't you? Uh. Perfect, Skipper. That's really, really good. Just what I need to get out of here and finish the job once and for all. Glow and coal. Uh. So, uh, Alex, is this train, you know, magical? I mean, that glowing coal from the mountain fuels it, doesn't it? Yeah. As a witch, well, an apprentice, but... Anyway, I can tell the coal has something special about it. Um. Oh, I know nothing about magic and such, like, girl. I just load the coal into the firebox and then, choo-choo, the train moves. Uh. <laughs> ah, okay. Hmm, you seem disappointed, girl. Did you expect something else? Holy moly, don't you know how a train works? <laughs> well, no, I'm used to getting around on a broom, Alex. Uh-oh. Ah, so I guess you never travel by train either, right? <laughs> mm, nope. Here for a ride? <laughs> Birdie. What? Look at the burb. What are you doing, Birdie? He's following you. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> so excited. Oh, that was fun. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, Mika. Are you free? I, um, I need a favor. Hmm. Can you take care of this canary for me? I have to go home, but I'll be back as soon as my mom sees I'm okay. I promise. Ah, <laughs> huh? Wait a minute. This is Yulu's canary. He must have followed me. Aww. Oh, she must be worried sick after this little guy ran away. Um. Mm, he looks a bit dehydrated. I'll give him some water. Hey, here you are. Take it easy, pal. Take it easy, pal. Oh, um, I'll give him a bit of birdseed, too. He needs to regain his strength. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you have birdseed in your pockets? Hey. Lovely. He's ready now. Okay. You ready for a ride, buddy? I'll take you back to where you belong. <laughs> Fly safe. Are you telling me or the canary? Country roads. <laughs> to the place. Hmm. So Maggie got there, Mika. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, extra jumbo size. Um, I figured it might be yours, so here you are. Hmm. Yep, it's ours, actually. Um, looks like it's from the ostriches my mom breeds. <laughs> oh, this massiveness is because of you? <laughs> Mm. Mm -mm -mm. A little punctuality. So now we gotta deliver something else. Not people waiting, naturally I'm a day late. <laughs> Alright. Back to the mines. Bunny! Bunny, come back! Bunny, come Bunny back! Bunny has places to be. <laughs> You can take it all on me. All right. Sometimes I see like shadow move, and I think it's uh, a shiny. Must collect a shiny. Yep. We gotta collect all the shinies. Bird house. Bird house. All right. I really do like the rainbow trail with the cat costume. That's very fun. Yeah. Oh, the yellow, uh, the yellow gemstone can go right there. Ooh, cool. And we gotta go up there anyway, so let's do some collecting, shall we? Alright, gotta get up. This sounds like the best idea to me. I think so. Alright, collect all the things. Yeah. Alright. And then I guess eventually we're gonna get a broom to get back to the top of the mountain, huh? Yeah, it'll be able to get higher as we go. 
We, um... This is the second game in a row for tea time where the objective has been to ascend. That's true. <laughs> Alright, how did I do this last time? I don't even remember. Very carefully. That's its place. Head straight here. Trying to get up there. Uh, I've got to get... Oh, the, way, go the other know, way. Do we know what the tarot cards do? Uh, not... No. No, I don't, I don't have a clue. They're just collectibles, as far as we're concerned right now. Yeah. Ducks! I think this is the way. Is it? Ooh. Look at this. What is... A telescope? Stars! We got a latitude, longitude thing here. Oh, they're different constellations. I wonder what this does. Yeah, this looks like it's something where you're gonna get some coordinates from somebody. Maybe. Huh. Well, I heard a noise. There's the last boom trail. The stellar boom trail. I'm curious. Can I equip it? Like, can I not equip it? Let me have it! That should be the one that's equipped. Oh, this is the Stellar Broom Trail. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Stars. yes. Stars! Yes, I am here for that. That one's really cool. Hey, friend. Hey! Hey! <laughs> he literally replied to you. Yep. <laughs> you, Lou, I thought you'd be down the mine. Ah. Yeah, it should be working, but without Mr. Canary. You know, my buddy tells me if the air is safe down in the tunnels, I can't work without him. But the truth is, he's my friend and I love him. I'm really worried. <laughs> well, I have some news for you. Look who's here. What? <laughs> Hi, little fella. <laughs> <laughs> he, he flew with me to Orilla Town's train station. Hey. Uh, I was afraid that something bad had happened, but you were just getting some fresh air. I, I understand, buddy. I'd forgotten how nice it was to be outside. Huh? You don't leave the mine? And what about this house? Isn't it your place? Ah, hey. uh -uh, just storage, young nipper. I eat, sleep, and work in the same place. W. Soot says it's good for productivity. Hi. Really want to punch him in the face. I know. But now I feel like I need to stay here for a while. Get some fresh air. There's definitely a little bit of co contemporary commentary going on in this game. I appreciate it. Yep. Uh, look at you, buddy. You've coped really well with the big wide world. Are you hungry, huh? Uh... Um, I doubt it. When I found Mr. Canary, Jean-Paul was there, too. Uh... Who? Oh, right, of course. You couldn't possibly know him. He, well, birds are his life. And the moment he saw your buddy, he took care of him. He fed him and gave him water. Hey. Really? <laughs> That's so sweet. He deserves my gratitude. Wait a minute. Okay, that's it. So, uh, Mika, could you deliver this thank you letter to Jean-Paul, please? <laughs> ah, no problem. That will be a piece of cake. Mmm, cake. Alright, I'm going to actually... What a way to hold a letter. I'm gonna, <laughs> leave, I'm gonna leave that there for just a minute. I don't care about your letter. Yeah, you're gonna go mess with this. Yeah, I wanna not worry about possibly breaking something. Yeah. Was the letter breakable? Oh. Yes, it's got one okay. heart. So. Go up there. All right, here we go. Da da da. <laughs> Ow. Crunch. Oh, cool. The hermit. The hermit. That makes sense, actually. Cool, cool. All right. Can we get all the major arcana in this game? I don't know. I wonder. Oh, I can't remove this one. Okay, no. What? Oh, yeah. I guess it's there to power that. Uh, it's a magical gemstone. Let's go find another yellow gemstone. I don't know if we found one yet. Can't go in there. Okay. That's not a passage. I had to try. Indeed. Looked like one to me. Yep. All right. Let me grab this letter. We'll deliver it to Jean-Paul. Yoink. All right. 
Don't break it. Jen Pei. Or get it stolen by the dog. That would be a weird problem to have. Yeah, it would. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, this is the way. This is the way. Uh, that card is getting filled up pretty quick. Sure is. Are there two more in that card, or is it just there those blank spaces? Uh, I have to assume that there are two more things to get. Okay. I don't have to assume. I am led to believe. It's a required, but it's a justified true belief that, uh... Actually, no. In favor of JTB, I'll say it's not quite a JTB yet. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Get launched! Wow, you can just, just... I love how much height we've been able to get ever since. Imagine the next broom. Oh, I know, right? That's gonna be cool. Is that fire area? We did clear that fire, right? I thought we did. We cleared the uh, airplane fire. I don't know if we cleared that one. I swore we... I swore we've cleared that fire at least once. I think there was a gym in there that we grabbed. Yeah, maybe it's just perpetually on fire. Possibly. Uh people go to bed at night, they think everything fine everything's fine, everything's good, and they wake up and they're on fire. <laughs> That's a it's a problem. <laughs> it's a real problem. <laughs> it's, a, it's an issue. Thanks, G.I. Joe. I don't... Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mika and the Witch's Mountain. Oh, Jean Paul is not there. Where'd he go? Maybe he's back at the farm. Jean Paul Sartre? Is that his name? Probably not. No. I mean, at this yeah, point, it might as well be, right? <laughs> the farm. <laughs> sure! <laughs> Farm would make sense. It's one of his home locations. Oh, here's the train. He's not at the train station anymore. Vending machine looks familiar. All right. Did you get Pepsi from the vending machine, buddy? No. No. Look at all the birds. So many happy birds. That's not a bird. I'll fix that for you. <laughs> John Paul! Where are you? I'm so confused. Where'd they go? Run, doggo, run! Oh, here we go. Hey, pur purple bandana thing. Wish they get the mill running again. Huh. <laughs> huh. See that, Mom? That's where the baby seagulls are, just over those cliffs. Uh... Oh, I see them now. They are cute, yes. Although, they're the birds that stole our ostriches' food. Um, oh, sup, Miko? How you doing? Uh, I've brought you this. It's from Yulu. Hmm. Hi, Jean-Paul. My dear courier here told me you helped my birdie. I also heard you know a lot about birds. How fortunate that Mr. Canary ended up near you. I was so worried about him flying around Mont Gone with all those crazy winds. Thank you for caring, truly. You've earned a big place in my heart. <laughs> Aw, you lose really sweet. The little birdie is lucky to be with her. Yeah, look at that smile. Look, the seagulls are feasting on something over there on the island. <laughs> oh, they like it a lot. Maybe um, we can use whatever it is to make a bird feeder. Hmm, like the one you built for the train station? Yes, my son, and that way, of course, they won't take our little ostrich's food. That's brilliant, Mom. Ah, do you really think that? Mm-hmm. Of course, Ma. So, Mika, can you get a go and check? Yeah, sweetie, can you go pick up whatever it is they're eating and bring it to us? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm on my way. Seaweed-covered rock? Question the mark? heck? That looks like a... Uh... The wheel Ow. of a pirate ship. What? You considered not face planning. I considered it and decided to ignore the consideration. Where'd the rock go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, 
This will be our last delivery for the episode. Because we are at time. Floaty, floaty, floaty. Been a much more productive session than last time. <laughs> I figure out what to do with that egg really helped. Alright. Here it is, the um What is it? Hmm. It looks just like a simple rock covered in mollusks and seaweed. Must have been under the sea for a long time to be like that, don't you think? Hmm. Oh, under the sea? Is it just me or is it a strange shape? It looks like a wheel, like a captain's wheel. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, sort of like a piece of a mechanism? Or a yeah, cog. Oh, yeah, a cog. Or a cog. Too. Sure. Oh, I think I know what this is. This is the missing piece of the old windmill. <laughs> what? Are you sure, Mom? <laughs> mm hmm. I remember it when you were still a little man. And I used to work there. One day this mechanical piece, poof, vanished. The windmill stopped working. The replacements weren't made of Mont Gon stones like the other pieces, so they didn't work. And without an energy source, we were totally desperate. And then Mr. W. Soot popped up. Just in the nick of time, huh? Mm-hmm. At first he offered to repair the windmill, but after a while, he suggested the only way forward was to use rocks from the heart of the mountain to set up his smoke factory. Hey! Yikes. However, some of us refused to be involved in such terrible schemes, so we quit and moved here. A place where you could start over and live at once at one with Mount Gon like we used to. Um, I've heard that some of the factory workers did the same thing after the incident. Although they moved to the old windmill. Huh? I suppose they're trying to repair it. Um, Mika, you need to give them this piece. Uh, okay. Let's get this windmill turning again with its missing piece! All right. Oof. We can repair the windmill. Yeah, we got one more piece after this. We got to find one, two, three, four, five more miscellaneous items, too. Which I'm sure will be further yeah, along. Yeah, those are multiple days, right? Yeah, I mean, we did this one over multiple days, this one over multiple days. Yeah, so. so but yeah, that third, that three star, third day, we'll, we'll get that done. All right. Okay. To the windmill. Yeah, we got this. All right. Up. Up, hop, hop. Hippity hop. Hip hop. A hippity hop. I said a hip hop, hippity hop. <laughs> Bite me, Mr. Soot. <laughs> Ah, the windmill. Oh yeah, we've been over here plenty of times. We've just never done anything with it. Now we can repair it. Sure. It will make crazy wind everywhere. Yeah, that'd be a good way to end the episode, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, you're over here, too. But the mines are... Okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Boy, Yulu, you're everywhere. Oh, <laughs> Yulu, is that you? What are you doing here? Hey. They brought me here, Nipper. Aren't we surrounded by such whimsical winds? <laughs> See, um... I needed to breathe some fresh air so I could think more clearly. Like how her elbow is literally in the way of the word. <laughs> I like mine so much that I devoted my whole life to it, and Mr. W. Soot has abused that. But after I had a chance to stop and think, I realized I haven't been paying attention to what's really important. So, uh, I just quit. It seemed like the only option for me and Mr. Canary here. Mm -hmm. Hey, how are you doing, Birdie? He looks fabulous now. And you too, Yulu. Mm. Yeah, I'm fine now, at last. And I'm not alone anymore. Look around. Some of the other workers followed me here. Maybe uh, they felt the same way I did. Um, so, yeah, now we're trying to make the windmill work again. Uh, oh, uh, and how are the repairs going? Uh, really bad, actually. We can't work out how to get it moving. Uh, oh, really? Hmm. So would you say you're missing something? <laughs> like uh, this strange piece of stone? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> it looks like it'll fit! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get the mill blades turning and clean the soot off of Mount Gone. 
<clears throat> that kind of wrecked my throat a little bit. Okay, I think I've checked on everybody. I'll meet Allegra to see how the party preparations are going. Look at that. Got the windmill going! Oh, look. Electricity from the windmill. We're going to put Mr. W. Soot out of business. Good. We need to. All right. So I guess there is one more entry, but it's like return to Allegra now. Yep. So, so we'll do that next time. <laughs> next time. Cliffhangers. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway. Dink. Yep. I'm going to hang out with this person right here. Thinking good thoughts idea. and none of them good. <laughs> that's, that's that's a mood. That's fair. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We hope you have enjoyed it. I know I certainly am having fun. This is a really adorable game, and I'm glad we decided to uh, explore it. Agreed. This is a great game. Yeah. And if you like our tea time series, please check out our other stuff too. You know, we got Little Kitty Big City was just before this, and we did Coffee Talk, which is much more of a visual novel kind of style but it's um that was things distracting Whee! Um, <laughs> but it is still a really rich in like rich characters rich environment a lot of fun very chill mm -hmm. um and if you are liking what you're watching please help us out with the algorithm by liking and subscribing and sharing it with your friends word of mouth is the best thing we could ask for um mm -hmm. And leaving comments, whether you want to talk about something you saw in the game or something completely unrelated. It doesn't really matter. We just want to hang out yeah. with you guys and talk and enjoy that time with you. I know we've been getting lots of comments on our Xenogear stuff. And we've been loving that, so keep it up. If you have a particular type of game you enjoy for tea time the most, uh, I know we've got a couple of different game types we've done. We've done Unpacking, which was a bit of a puzzle game. Uh, and then... Uh, Coffee Talk is more of a visual novel, uh, like Austin said. And uh, this game and Little Kitty Big City are kind of similar in some ways, in that we're kind of just walking around doing stuff and gathering things, collect a thon. Um, but they're much smaller scale than like a Legend of Zelda game. So, right. uh, if, if you have a favorite style of one of those, or if you have a suggestion for something that's really chill you want to see, uh, leave that in the comments. Feel free. We will read them, we will take your suggestion seriously and we'll check it out yeah absolutely we keep a running list of suggested games that we've gotten already um some of which are already on our list but we just want to keep track of what people are requesting so we do keep an honest look at that um mm -hmm. and feel free to check out other stuff i know i mentioned the other tea times but if you just want to see the full gambit of type of games we play we have our main series uh right now running currently is persona 3 reload on mondays and thursdays Obviously, our two tea times are on Tuesdays. On Fridays, we have it's just kind of a catch-all casual game day right now. That's Lies of P. Before that, it was uh, Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Um, mm -hmm. And then we also have our fairly new intro into the co-op realm on Saturdays. We were playing Salt and Sanctuary. And boy, howdy, the antics in there are hilarious. Uh, we're usually cackling before the end of the episode, so... Feel free to check yeah. that out as well. <laughs> uh, but more than anything else, we're just so happy to have you here with us. Thank you so much for letting us be a part of your day. And we do hope it is a wonderful one. But until next time, we'll see you all in the next video. See you next time, everyone. Bye-bye now.